If you're just tuning in, Penn and Teller have been fooled once and it could happen again. Here's our next trickster. My name is Jessica Jane Peterson and I'm from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I started in my family's magic show. My mom was magician's assistant and my aunt and uncle were magicians. My first trick was a cane that levitated and danced around. That was what made me want to be a magician. The day after I graduated high school, a circus side show was in town and I ran away with the circus. I learned how to do a straight jacket escape. I learned fire eating, how to walk on broken glass. I had knives thrown at me. 20 times a day. I mix real danger or real effects with magic and illusion. I think as performers, if you get beat up, it means you're doing it right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the big top talent of Jessica Jane Peterson. how a girl like me ended up with such a dangerous profession. When I was a kid, my parents took me to the state fair. I, of course, loved the rides and the games, but what really caught my eye was the circus sideshow. We saw a strong man, an electric lady, even a sword swallower. But my favorite act was the fire eater. When she came on stage, I was captivated. I could feel the heat of the flames from my seat. She had such confidence and grace. I knew one day I wanted to be like her. Well, that day came years down the line when I was performing my magic at that same fair, and that same sideshow was back. Only this time, when they left town, I left with them. You see, the circus sideshow has a way of leaving its mark on you. Let me show you what I mean. This is a newspaper article about that very sideshow that I saw when I was a kid. Penn, hello, love. Hi. How are you? Very well, thanks. Good, good. As I run the scissors up and down the article, please say stop at any time. Stop. Right there? Yeah. Now, I'm going to cut wherever you say, so we can raise the scissors up a little, down a little, down or stay right there. Down just a little bit? Yeah. Right there? Right there, sure. All right. Now, I don't want to go anywhere near that article, so I'm going to need someone to help me out. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the lovely Allison. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Would you please pick up that paper for me, love? Sure. That's right. Just pick up that paper and hold on to it, all okay. righty? All you got to do is hold the paper. All right. That's right, boys. The redheads are teaming up. <laughs> now, Allison, mm -hmm. a moment ago, we cut a piece off a newspaper clipping. Yes. That piece fell to the floor and you now have it. Yes. Pen, where we cut was completely your choice, correct? That's correct. Allison, look at the paper. Are there a bunch of different words on it? Yes. All right, look at the top line of the place that Pen cut to. Mm hmm Don't say anything yet, but look at the first word of the top line of that clipping. I want you to burn that word into your mind. Have you got it? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you the circus sideshow has a way of leaving its mark on you. Allison, for the first time, say your word aloud. Time. What is it? Time. T-I-M-E, time. Mm -hmm. Watch. Wow. Thank you so much for helping me. That was very impressive. Well, 
glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely. How long have you been eating fire? <laughs> I have been eating fire for about 10 years now. Wow. Yeah, I joined the circus sideshow when I was 17 years old. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Take me through that very first one. Okay, very first time I ate fire, yeah. I was performing magic at a fair up in New Jersey. It's a true story. And uh, the circus sideshow was right across the midway from me. So I went inside and I got baptized by fire. I literally stuck my tongue out and they put the torch on my tongue. Oh. And that was the first time I ate fire. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. and I've been doing it ever since. And have you ever tasted anything since? Barbecue tongue? Does that <laughs> count? <laughs> Let's see if Penn and Teller are fired up by your act. All right, Penn, Teller. Well, uh, Jessica, as, um, as I think you know, I, I'm also carny trash. Yes, and, yes. Uh, I'm, 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 the reason that I'm in show business is seeing a fire eater when I was a child. And I, I became a fire eater and I uh, love seeing it. And what you have in your act is just an incredible amount of confidence and grace and style. And it's just beautiful how everything flowed together. I mean, the, um, the, the final trick is actually two tricks. It's two completely separate tricks that you've put together into one trick that just seems seamless. You know, uh, and uh, the trick on your arm, the uh, the final revelation there is a trick. You know, Toad's been reading magic books. He started out with magic. I started out with Carney. Magic books since he was a child, and that was actually presented in a children's book of magic to be done with cigarette ashes because children playing with cigarettes is <laughs> such an entertaining thing in the 50s. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it really shows you that in the right hands, even a trick that's, that's from an old magic book can be just wonderful. And I think the fact that you had the right word there after I moved the scissors up and down and changed it must have had people's minds at home just going upside <laughs> down, just flipping them right out. It was just a, a wonderful, wonderful routine all the way through. And I just want to use your own words back at you, just confidence and grace. But we think we have a pretty good idea how you did it. Yeah, yeah. So, th you, whatever he said, you understand? They definitely know, but I hope I entertained you guys. You sure did. It was fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. You certainly entertained me. Thank you so much, Jessica and Jane Peterson. It's time for Penn and Teller to take center stage. Only tonight, we're splitting them up. Penn is going to head out on the town. We'll see where he's going when we come back.